Hey, what's going on folks? It's your boy Rob checking in. And today we're going to do a video talking about the crazy engineers of Red Dodge and some of the things they have made available for you to purchase as far as crate options. But before we do, I do just want to say thanks to all my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you also subscribe so you'll be available once I reach 600 to be chosen for the free giveaway. But with no further ado, we're going to get right into it. So, the engineers over at Dodge are making a statement that a lot of people are not even paying attention to. I don't know, this might be a coincidence, but I would say not if you ask me. So, current six cylinder Hurricane twin turbo engine that is available in the Grand Wagoneer is based off a three liter six cylinder engine, right? It is a three liter six cylinder engine. Dodge is saying they will also have a version of this same motor that will be able to push out upwards of a thousand horsepower. So that's a three liter motor that can push out a thousand horsepower. Three liters. Remember that three liter part. The new Helifant motors they have will be able to push upwards of 1100 horsepower. You know how big the supercharger is that is on top of that Helifant motor? It is a three liter supercharger. The same displacement of the six cylinder that they're going to make available in the drag pack that will push out upwards of a thousand horsepower. So let's rewind that back. So the supercharger that is mounted on top of the helipad motor is a three liter supercharger. Pushes out a thousand horsepower. Dodge said we're going to also offer a three liter six cylinder that can push out a thousand horsepower. That is just crazy to me. That is a statement. That is a statement they are making. They're making a statement and letting us gas guys know that we're not going to totally abandon the gas powered motor, but we're just going to make some make some adjustments to it. Now, as I said in the in the in the, in the past videos, two things I think that will really help out with this. One is if we are able to get a good exhaust note from this V6. I haven't really heard anybody have an exhaust off of the wagon there with that setup that sound good. I haven't heard one in person period at all. And possibly be able to couple that with a hybrid system. I think that is going to be something that formulates down the line. You have to understand that they also have the Banshee coming out and these two worlds most likely will intertwine and collide at some time with some type of vehicle. But it's Rob, man. And that's all I have on the situation. Let me know what you guys think. 